Welcome. This is video of Building Material Testing Laboratory, 18 CVL 38, third semester civil engineering student. Today's video is on specific gravity of fine aggregate using pipe now meter. I, Professor Ravi B. Tilaganji. Specific gravity of fine aggregate using pipe now meter we are going to continue. To determine the specific gravity of fine aggregate means sand, theory and the scope of experiment. Specific gravity of an aggregate is defined as the mass of a given volume of a sample to the mass of an equal volume of water at the same temperature. The specific gravity of the fine aggregate is generally required for calculations in connection with concrete mix design or determination of moisture content and for the calculation of volume yield of concrete. The specific gravity also gives information on the quality and properties of aggregates. So, doing this experiment, we are able to get quality of the aggregate and the property of the aggregate. Apparatus required. We require balance of a capacity 3 kg, pycnometer which is of having 64 mm diameter at the top, 90 mm diameter at the bottom and 73 mm in height. So, this is what the pycnometer bottle with a brass conical cap will be available in laboratories. Moving further, so this is the procedure. Calibrate the pycnometer by weighing it empty and full with water at room temperature and agitate the flask gently in an inclined position to eliminate the air bubbles. When air bubbles will be there, when we add water, we need to just tilt it out or roll it out so that the bubbles go away. Take a sample of the fine aggregate and soak it in water and keep it for 24 or half an hour plus or minus. The temperature should be 27 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees centigrade. Take out and spread the sample approximately Approximately, we have to take 1.5 kg on a clean flat surface exposed to gently moving current of a warm air means where open air is there we are going to spread it on it until the material just reaches free running condition free flowing freely means no moisture is present or moisture is present but it is not having any moisture on its surface immediately weight 500 grams of saturated surface dry sand in the flask fill the flask with water to the top of a cone roll the flask in the inclined position and eliminate all the air bubbles and replace with water by means of fountain pen filler means fountain pen filler we are taking it and fill the water wipe the flask dry and weigh it accurately seventh one calculate the specific gravity now let us see what are the apparatus required weighing scale pycnometer container with a water and tray with a fine aggregate so these are the materials which we have required procedure follows like this we are measuring the weight of empty pycnometer when we keep the pycnometer on the weighing scale weighing scale should be first kept on 00, zero. as we say here it is 00, zero. when we are keeping the pycnometer we will get a reading so the reading comes as 580 grams of empty pycnometer now we are going to take sand and pycnometer weight so from the tray we are adding fine aggregate in the pycnometer so we have written it as weighing scale plus pycnometer plus sand so one third of the jar will be filled with the fine aggregate like this now the weight will change the weight changes to 1050 grams which is weight of empty pycnometer plus sand now it is one third of sand now we are going to add the water from water container to the pycnometer so that is third observation weight of empty pycnometer plus sand plus water already we are having pycnometer with sand which is weighing 1050 grams now when we add pycnometer water and sand it will change the weight so it is totally filled up to this point 
at the tip of the particular pycnometer. Now the weight will come as 1760 grams. We will remove all the material, clean the pycnometer and only pycnometer is kept on weighing scale plus water filled in weight which will give us the total weight as 1450 grams. Means it is a weight of pycnometer and water. Now we have taken the readings. The weight of pycnometer which was empty it was 580 and pycnometer plus sand 1050. Weight of pycnometer plus sand plus water 1760. Weight of pycnometer plus water 1450. Now calculation of specific gravity. The formula is W2 minus W1 means W2 minus W1 we are able to get amount of and available that is volume of fine aggregate available and W4 minus W1 W4 minus W1 we will get water and W3 minus W2 we will get the amount of water which was carried by the same amount of uh, sand that is same amount volume amount of sand how much it is weighing. So, substituting the values into the given formula we get the specific gravity as 2.93. This is first trial doing the second trial it will be having these readings and this is the specific gravity for the trial this is the readings and this is the specific gravity so we got all the three trials specific gravity one is 2.93 one is 2.82 and one more is 2.86. So, three readings are there with us. Now, we will go for the further part calculation which we have done already shown to you specific gravity calculation. One sample I am putting here for trial number one. So, the calculation part and trial number one reading is 2.93. Trial number two reading is 2.82. Trial number three reading is 2.86. Now, average specific gravity will be 2.93 plus 2.82 plus 2.86 all together divided by 3. So, we get the average specific gravity of fine aggregate as 2.87. We will write it in the result part. So, result we will write it as specific gravity of the fine aggregate as 2.87. So, this is what will be the specific gravity of fine aggregate using the pycnometer. Thank you.